I just got some NFTs in the mail. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And like I said, I just got some NFTs in the mail. So if that's confusing to you, then stay tuned. But uh, I bought the Elf NFTs on uh, the, the Funko drop, like, I don't know, maybe eight months ago. I don't even remember when it was. Wow, this was a long time ago. I believe this set dropped back in April and Redemption was in May. The way it works with the Funko NFTs is when you pull a redeemable card, you have uh, up until a certain point to collect all of the cards and then you get a one week redemption window. You submit your redemptions and then you wait like six months, eight months, sometimes a year, but you, you get physical Funko Pops. And this was a series that I actually did not film. I know I have some like NFT videos up on this video so you can see more of that process. I didn't actually film my, uh, my like purchasing process of these but the physical redemptions are here and I have got to see them in person. First of all, they look like they're packaged very nicely in these sorters. Ooh, look at that. We have two sorters and I think I have six redemptions. So I'm just gonna open these up real quick. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna save this one for last, hang on. So, okay, there we go. First up, I have Ming Ming. Also, fun fact about Ming Ming, because I actually didn't know, oop, I actually didn't know this until like a year ago, but uh, Ming Ming from Elf is played by Peter Billingsley, who was the same actor who, as a kid, played Ralphie in A Christmas Story. You probably already knew that because you're super smart, but hey, now if you didn't know, now you do. But here is Ming Ming. I like this pop. I like how he's holding his coffee cup. This is good. This is a good pop. And then I actually have two of these, but these ones are Jovi in her pink, uh, the pink outfit from the end of the movie. There is Jovi, of course, played by Zoe Deschanel. Now I know there is already one Jovi pop that came out, I wanna say like 2018 maybe, 2017. Uh, but she is in her green outfit from the store that she works at. This is from the end of the movie when she moves to the North Pole to live with uh, Buddy and Papa Elf and she has her nice little pink outfit. I also like the, uh, the snowflake details on her leggings there. And now this box, this is the one I was excited about. Oh man, so first let me start off with Leon the Snowman. Look at this pop. First of all, I haven't been reading the piece counts on these. This is a 1600 piece, which means there was 1600 physical redemption. There we go. There were 1600 physical redemptions pulled in this set, or at least 1600 that were available to be pulled. Uh, that, doesn't, that doesn't mean that they were all redeemed, but uh, this is Leon the Snowman. And to be honest, I think this is uh, this is one of my favorites in the set. I was most looking forward to this one. Uh, first of all, because of his shape. Uh, just, I like the silhouette that he has. But also, look how his glasses are floating on there. That's kind of a cool touch. By the way, Ming Ming and Jovi are also 1600 piece count, in case you were curious. Uh, I have two more pops here. And uh, I'm going to start with, uh, I'm going to go a little backwards, but I'm going to start with Freddy Funko. I know he's the uh, the royalty redemption, but I'm gonna jump straight to Freddy Funko because I actually have another pop in this box that I like even more, which is kind of wild to say I like one more than Freddy, but uh, here is Freddy as Buddy the Elf. This one is limited to 2,000 pieces. And again, if you're not uh, familiar with the way that redemptions work with the NFTs, so Ming Ming, Jovi, and Leon were all legendary cards. When you pull a legendary card, it is automatically redeemable. Uh, you can pull legendaries or you can pull a grail and those are automatically redeemable. To get the Freddy Funko, which in this case is Freddy as Buddy the Elf, you have to complete the entire set of cards. So uh, if there are 52 cards in a deck. Uh, you have to collect every single card uh, in order to unlock the royalty redemption. And he has his maple syrup. This is a really great pop. Uh, a fantastic Freddy to add to my collection. Uh, but this is another Buddy the Elf. 
that I, I said this, I might like even more than this Freddy buddy, but this is Buddy the Elf eating his spaghetti and syrup. Uh, what else does he put in it? Marshmallows, chocolate bars, a lot of, a lot of crazy stuff in that spaghetti. This makes me want to watch Elf again. I usually watch it like every December, but now I, I want to watch it again. This is also a Legendary Redemption limited to 1,600 pieces. Um, and here he is. I like how he's sitting down with his legs crossed. And uh, you can see some of the candy in the spaghetti there. You can see a chocolate bar on this side. You can see marshmallows in the front. He's just slurping up some spaghetti on Christmas. <laughs> there's, there's Buddy. This is actually not the complete set. I have four legendaries and I have the one royalty. The only card I did not pull was actually a grail, which was Buddy the Elf uh, with the puffin on the iceberg, right? On like the chunk of ice, right? I'm actually, I'm actually a little, um, what's the word? I'm a little relieved that I did not pull that grail because there was a problem with I guess manufacturing, the pop came out a little bit bigger than they expected. So they had to size up the box to a deluxe box. And it looks, it looks like it, the pop is too small for the box. But I understand that if they tried to put it in a standard size box, that it would be too big and it would be poking out the top. So uh, kind of a weird choice. I don't know how this happened, but I'm content with this set. I don't need, I don't need Freddy and the Puffin uh, or Buddy. Buddy and the Puffin. And finally, there is one pop that does not exist. It is not part of this set. It has never been made. I have been begging for it to be made. Uh, and I actually reached out to a, uh, a friend of mine who's an artist, a Funko concept artist, and he he made it for me. But I, I feel like we are missing something in this setup here. And who else could we be missing here other than Santa Claus himself, who is portrayed, of course, by the late and great Ed Asner. Here's a pop concept of Ed as Santa that was drawn up by a friend of mine named Nathan. You can follow him here on Instagram, Nathros Funkos. We haven't posted this publicly anywhere. This was me sort of messaging him saying, I really want to see Ed as Santa and he drew it. And this is the grand reveal, I guess. This video is a fitting place to show it off. This is just a concept. It is not real, but I hope Funko's watching this because we really need this. We need Ed and we need Santa, and we need him to be part of this elf set. So Funko, please, please make it happen. That's it for today. I am in love with this set. I, I think this is one of the coolest NFT sets I have gotten so far, and I'm very excited. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time.